Good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing the extra questions. Now these questions are from in between the chapter. Yes. So you don't have to write them in your notebooks. Neither do you have to mark them in your textbook. Just listen to them. Okay. The first question. What are microbes? Now microbes are tiny organisms. Yes, that cannot be seen with the naked eye. They can only be seen under a microscope. Okay, then we come to the second question. That is, name two diseases caused by bacteria. Now it can be typhoid, uh, cholera, tuberculosis. Okay, then two diseases caused by virus. It can be chicken pox, polio, measles. Then two diseases caused by protozoa. It can be malaria and amoebic dysentery. Then we come to the third question. That is, where do organisms live? Now, organisms they are found in the like no in the soil. They are found in water bodies. They are even found inside our bodies. Okay. Now in the environment they are found in the hot mountain deserts. Uh, polar regions, then hot springs, uh, salt water, in fresh water. Yes, so they are practically found everywhere. Then we come to the fourth question. Name the bacteria that promotes formation of curd. Uh, I suppose this everybody should know the answer. The name of the bacteria is lactobacillus. Okay, we come to the fifth question. Define fermentation. Now the process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called as fermentation. We come to the sixth question that is name the bacteria that fixes nitro nitrogen that is rhizobium. Okay. Then the seventh one who discovered the vaccine for smallpox that was Edward Jenner. Okay. Then name three diseases which can be prevented by vaccination. That is smallpox, cholera and hepatitis. Then what are pathogens? Uh, disease causing microorganisms. They are called as pathogens. What are communicable diseases? Diseases that spread from an infected person to a healthy person. They are called as communicable diseases like chicken pox and you have uh, common cold, tuberculosis. These are example of communicable diseases. We come to the next question. That is name two diseases caused by microorganisms in animals and plants. Now, in case of animals, the name of the two diseases are anthrax and foot and mouth disease. In case of plants, it is rust of wheat and citrus canker. We come to the twelfth question. Name some ways to preserve food. That is to keep food for a longer time. Now this can be done by keeping them in cold storage, refrigeration. Okay, by tinning or canning them. Uh, keeping it in airtight containers by adding sugar, salt and oil. Yes, by dehydration also like in case of milk powder. Sometimes by boiling and by frying also. Yes, so these are the different ways in which food can be kept for a longer time. We come to the 13th question that is define pasteurization. Now the process in which milk is heated to 70 degrees Celsius Yes, for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly cooled or chilled. Yes, and then stored. That process is pasteurization. Now, pasteurization, it prevents or stops the growth of microorganisms. Now, we come to the 14th question. That is, name the five steps involved in nitrogen cycle. Now the name, uh, the five steps that are involved in the nitrogen cycle. The first one is nitrogen fixation. Then the second one is nitrogen assimilation. Third one, ammonification. Fourth one is nitrification. And the last one, the fifth one is 
denitrification. We come to the last question. What is used to make cakes, bread and pastries soft and fluffy? I suppose everybody knows this answer. That is yeast. I hope these are clear in case any doubt in the lesson anywhere do let me know. Thank you.